Hey guys, so I'm done with developing my website on my local PC here, and I want to see what it would look like on my mobile device. Let's see how we can do that today. Okay, let's go over the concept here. On the left side, I have Apache web server hosting my website. On the right side is my phone. I want to use the browser on my phone to connect to my web server on my PC to access my website. In order to do that, I need to know what IP address to connect to. So let's find the IP address of my PC. I'm going to go to my Wi-Fi properties and find the IP address here. So this is my IP address. Let me note this down. In addition to the IP address, I need to know what port to connect to. For me, I'm using port 8080. Yours may differ. On my PC, I'm using localhost to get to the site. But if I replace it with my IP address, port 8080, it will also work. So let's try it out on the phone. On my phone, I'm going to enter the IP address plus colon plus port 8080. As you can see, it works. If this is working for you, you're good to go. But before you leave, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Since you're still watching, I assume this is not working for you. So let's do some troubleshooting. We need to make sure that the phone is on the same Wi-Fi network as our PC. What is important is that the phone's IP address must match the first three sets of numbers of the IP address of the PC. This ensures that the phone is in the same subnet and can see the PC. Let's get the IP address of the phone. Your phone may differ from mine, but here's how I get to my IP address. My phone is in the same subnet as my PC, so they should be able to see each other on the network. If yours differ, you're going to have to go into your router's setting and try to figure out what's going on. This is not something I can get into in this video. Another problem could be Windows Firewall blocking your connection. In order to verify that, we'll use a program called TCP View, which is available from Microsoft's website. Once we have TCP View open, we'll set a filter for port 8080. This is the port that I'm running Apache under. We can see that Apache is indeed listening on port 8080. Apache's executable name is actually HTTPD. If the firewall is indeed blocking connections, then when you attempt to connect on your phone, there will be no activities showing in any of these columns. However, if the firewall is not blocking, then you should be able to see activity under the packets and bytes columns. We're not using IP6, so we can ignore the second line. Now I'm gonna make a connection from the phone to see what happens. You can see from the activity that the connection is successful. If you don't see any activity on your side, then the firewall is probably the problem. Let's go see how we can fix this. To get into Windows Firewall, we'll go into our Start menu, type in Firewall, select Windows Defender Firewall, go to the Advanced Settings, go to the Inbound Rules, we'll sort by the Name column, and then scroll down to find Apache. You'll notice that there are four rules for Apache. Two of them are for a private network, two of them are for a public network. Private applies when you're connected to your home network. Public applies when you're connected to a public Wi-Fi, such as an airport or a coffee shop. You can see that if you're connected to a public Wi-Fi, the firewall is blocked, so your phone will not be able to connect to your PC. For a private network, the firewall is set to allow for both TCP and UDP protocols. Notice in the local port column, it's set to any. This means that the firewall will not block you no matter which port you choose for your web server. So with these rules, your phone should be able to connect to your PC. You also want to make sure that your Wi-Fi connection is set to private. To verify that, go down to the properties for your Wi-Fi connection. Under Network Profile, make sure Private is selected. Let's see what happens if I remove all of the firewall rules for Apache. I'm back at TCP View. I'm going to attempt a connection from my phone. As you can see, TCP View is not showing any activity at all because my firewall is blocking the connection. Usually when you install your web server, 
or when it tries to start for the first time, it will try to add those firewall rules for you. So since I deleted all of them, when Apache tries to start again, it should ask me if I want to add those rules. Let me stop it right now. I'm going to start Apache. At this point, Windows Firewall asks me if I want to allow Apache to operate on my private network. As you can see, the messages are not entirely clear what it is that I'm allowing. If I click cancel, those rules are not added and my firewall will block all incoming connections. Here I'm going to click allow access. We'll go back to Windows Firewall configuration and click on the refresh button. The rules that allow Apache's connections are in place now. And I should be able to access my website from my phone. Let's try now. And it's working. Let's say for some reason the security pop-up never showed up and these rules were never added for you. Let's see how we can add these manually. First, I'm going to delete mine. I go to new rule, leave it at program. Next, I'm going to paste in the path to my Apache executable. You can use the browse function to browse to yours. Next, allow the connection. Here we'll only select private. Name the service. Here's the newly created rule. Note that the rule goes into effect immediately after creation. Notice that protocol is set to any. We want to change that. We want to change it to TCP only. Back to TCP view. On my phone, I'm going to hit refresh. You can see the activity going on. That means it was a successful connection. All right, guys, that is it for this video. If you are able to access your website from your mobile device, please give me a thumbs up. For more content like this, consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching.